Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. But what do we have left once we abandon the lie? Chaos. A gaping pit waiting to swallow us all. Chaos isn't a pit. Chaos is a ladder. So I've found myself a couple of survivors with a tooled up UAZ. I'm having at them zombies down there. I don't think that guy just saw me then, did he? No, he didn't. He didn't see me. That gun actually looks insane on that. I wonder what they're up to. Hey guys! What's up? Can you hear me? You can hear me! Hey there. How's things? Do you need anything? I suppose you've just been looting the town. Hello. You sound friendly, but I don't need anything. I was just checking if you did. Seem like you were friendly. Okay, not to worry, dude. I'm, I'm just going to head off now. So, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Probably not. a lot of guys down there. How did they not see me? I really don't know. I'm just going to switch out my Mosin here. Mosin is one of the, the new guns in Origins. And I've got this. I don't really know what damage this does, but I'm figuring as it's an SMG, it's probably in the 3,000 blood damage range. So probably like a, uh, a four-shot kill. Hey, buddies! <laughs> Buddy plural. I don't think I've ever said that before. Hello. Hey, guys! Are you guys friendly? Because uh, I need a lift down to my, my friend's helicopter nearby, love. You are? You didn't sound very certain, then. Are you sure? Ooh. I don't think those guys are actually friendly. I decided not to go near them. They're at the, just the far end of this compound, obviously. And Oh, I thought they were at the far end of this compound. Apparently not. They'll actually come looking for me. Hey there, dude in the trees. What's up? Hello. Are you friendly? I'm friendly, I'm friendly. Okay, cool. I'll head off then. Alright. Well, looks like it was a good idea I decided not to go. Because I've got a feeling our friend here would be shooting me in the back right now. Hello? Hello? You are? You still don't sound like you're very convinced to me. I bet you are when there's four of you trying to surround one dude. Well, backup's arrived. This guy must be like the mule of the group, with that massive backpack on. Where are you up to? <laughs> he can't see me. Uh, now, you see, I'm sure a lot of you just want me to take out these two guys. But honestly, it's dark. I've got night vision. It would be like sending spec ops after a bunch of retarded children killing them. So, I'm just going to... I'm going to see if I can get away without them seeing me. Or maybe take their truck. Don't come up the ladder, dude.
I'm friendly, but you're in a bandit outfit. So I'm safe up here. <laughs> this is the third time I flagged them. They still think I'm on that roof. Fuck them. They're lucky they get away alive. I'm gonna take the truck. It works. It does. <laughs> oh my goodness. What dummies? Honestly. I cannot believe those guys. He's fired after me with his Winchester. <laughs> Enjoy the run. Next time you might be a little bit smarter. Just put my SUV up on the outside of here. And I'm just gonna see. There's a sort of truck. There's a player there. The truck must be just around the back. Holy shit, there's a lot of walkers. I don't really think I can risk engaging that truck. As if I fire a shot, that's. That is too many for me to take. I'm gonna head out, get some sleep, come back in the morning. So I had a good night's rest in my SUV. Sidewise, I was in the city. The fuck? Sidewise, I was here. I would check out one of the old underground laboratories. Unfortunately, most of them have got overrun by zombies now. Although there may be some some lab staff down there, so we'll have to. Check it out. Apparently there's one in this area, my friends told me. And then after this, we're going to head down to Bylov and, uh, and get a lift out of out of, uh, out of of Taviana. I actually hear another car. Apparently I'm not the only one looking for a, a bike there. Come back, zombie! Come back with your arm! That looks promising. It's kind of well hidden. I was actually looking for a sort of trapdoor kind of thing, but it looks like there's something underneath this portal here. So I'll have to see what's going to... Ooh. Those shots are coming from underground, then. Oh, there's actually people down there fighting. They killed somebody. I don't want to open this door yet, because... I'm not really sure where this ladder goes to. I'm actually wondering if I should just... You know what, fuck it. I've got my yellow t-shirt on. I don't need to wait for him to come up. It'll get me through it. Just want to see if I can see him down here. I'm just I can just pop straight through this, because it doesn't look like there's an open door option. Fuck it. If he's here, I'll just kill him. Okay. Looks like we have to. Somebody busted the way into here. There's a lot of blood. Some gear down there. Maybe that's the guy he killed. I think it's better to stay top floor though. Rather than getting down there first. Okay. Look at this old lab equipment. Pity they could never find a proper cure. Oh, there she is. That will be the bandit who killed them. Let me take him out. Why is she looking up at the ceiling? Just. Oh, I see. Be sure one of them hit her near the head. But I can flank around there. She'll still think I'm across here because you're probably bandaging at the moment. Let's see if I can get around the back. It's 
been a pretty long time since I last... There's a lab guy down here. These are NPCs. I'm just going to take him out. Alright. As I said, it's been a pretty long time since I last saw it. And unfortunately, the, the gunplay mechanics in Daisy are that clunky that if you're in a good position, you've literally got to stay in it. So I'm just going to wait here, but the server's, the server's going to restart quite soon, so I might just have to just have to man up and run in. I manned up. Didn't need to, though, because the NPC down here just shot when she was still at this window, which she liked across there. I don't really think that's sort of what you'd call tactical clothing. She's wearing. I don't think she'd have. She looks like a meat popsicle to zombies, I bet. But still, got a spare pair of night visions now. So I've nearly made it to buy love, but I thought I'd show you this, which has to be the coolest settlement of houses. There's literally every house here. This is a hero level two house. There's, of course, a bandit level 1 on the left there. That's a hero level 3 house across in that corner. It comes with a garage. So you can either build a garage on or you can get a level 3 house. And that in the corner, the pyramid one, which I think is probably the coolest, is a bandit level 2 house. These guys have got a seriously nice base set up here. Made it across to buy, love. I've just seen down here a, a guy next to that wooden tent thing. Oh, somebody's shooting at him. Where from, though? This place is just... Oh, they killed him. It's just Team Deathmatch Central here. There he is. There's no point really sticking around. It's a good job I didn't shoot that guy. Right. Well, people just keep continually spawning in these woods. Those guys will, will spawn in as well. This chicken, he's dead. He is. And fuck it. That isn't the helicopter, actually, you can hear in the background. I'm getting picked up in. I'm getting picked up in a little bird. But... I suppose they'll have to watch out for that. That zombie's just got a hatchet buried in his head. As you saw there, the zombies disappeared, which means somebody else spawned on this hill, so I'm going to get the hell out of here. Because they just come in with macros and just repeatedly spawn behind you. So I just thought I'd run over to check out what that helicopter sound was. If you wonder why it got dark so quick, it's because there's a four-hour day-night cycle on these Origin servers, so... And it just, it just goes night dead quick, so there's virtually no evening or morning. They've actually got a proper little landing zone set up here. Maybe they're making this their base then. She's on top of a supermarket in a random village. These guys will be hostile, of course, so I'm not going to expose myself to them. But they've landed on there because basically nobody else can take the helicopter once they log out. So I don't expect they'll be in the server for very long, but I can't really do much to get that helicopter. Like, there's no way to get up there. Sometimes people say I'm patronizing. Hey, little new bandit! Hey there! Were you peeking? In the bush? What's up? Don't be scared, there's nothing around. I've got night vision on. I can see these things. There'll be no nasty werewolves or anything. Hey man. Hey there. You friendly? I'm friendly, dude. This is a level yeah. three. This is a level three hero costume. Don't shoot me. Are you funky? Are you funky? Maybe. Oh my God, it's funky. It's funky, baby. What's up, man? You like a little Enfield dance, then. Uh, I was trying to follow that helicopter. It nearly landed next to me. It's over there, but... 
they have some bandits over there. They've got night vision goggles. They said they just be killing me and my friend multiple times. Have they? No. Oh. Yeah. But I tell you what, dude. I've been playing for the last like three days to get foot. Oh, there's more shots over there. They're from By Love. Um, yeah. but you're the first person to actually shout to me first. I swear, in the last three days. Yeah. <laughs> That's I'm awesome the though. Same. I'm having the same problem. I'm having the same problem. It's like this game's turning into a bunch of bad oh, men running around killing everybody. It's a team death match, yeah. Especially in Bylob, just up there. In fact, I've got some night vision, dude. I think. Let me just check. Okay. <laughs> Let me put mine in your bag. My mate's going crazy on TV. He's like, yeah, okay, I want to be you. <laughs> <laughs> Is he around? Not giving up. It was just his place to hide. He pushed away the pain so hard, he disconnected himself from the person he loved the most. Sometimes when you win, you lose. It's okay. I'm just fucking with you, if I remember to edit this correctly. You should have just heard what you thought was the end I'm, yeah I may I was trying to make you think that this was the end but it's not because Jack and I are back together not quite yet but uh, we've decided now I've flown back from Taviana in my little bird back to the shore and picked up a taser from the the Cherno police force that we would try out the breaking point mod which I'm actually going to tell you a little bit about at the start of this video just because it's taken Daisy back to how it originally was I swear, last time I was at Kamenka, there wasn't a supermarket and fire station here. Oh well, a lot of people disregard this spawn. I could have done without having a fire station here, to be honest, because there's some excellent hunting huts, which I'm going to show you the route I take to loot up on the map. Breaking point, though, you may or may not have heard of it. I played a little bit of it before I started recording this gameplay here. For any of those of you who are still wondering, after 30 episodes, you cannot fly from one map to another. It is purely for the for the, the story to make these videos more entertaining for you. But as we were saying, breaking point. Got a good old backpack there. There seemed to be a lot of these lying around last time I played this. But breaking point comes with a separate launcher, which is why I don't need to cover up my name, because people can't search me. That's why my name is covered in Origins and is covered in previous episodes and why there's a blurring in the bottom corner. Because if I don't have that there, people can find me in game and you might think people are nice and it's good to play with people, but unfortunately there are quite a few people who just want to troll me in-game. Uh, so I have to cover up my name, that's why it's been there if you didn't know already, but now I don't need to in this. Now the other great thing about this launcher is that it scans your PC before you can even install Breaking Point or even join a server. See if you've ever run a bypass or, or a hack or anything in DayZ, so if you cheated a year ago, You'll be banned from the breaking point servers permanently. And it isn't. That actually made me jump then. Uh, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, breaking point. Basically, it bans you permanently. And it's not just a CD key ban, it will ban you completely from the game forever. Unfortunately, there have been a few bitches on Reddit, as ever. The few on there who feel they're. because they're on Reddit. They're the entitled voice of the internet and everything must pass under their judgement. But those bitches have been moaning about the launcher because it scans your CD key offline to make as an extra level of protection against hackers. Because if it's only an online check of your CD key, it's presumably easier for hackers to get around it. At last I found a map. It should be a little bit quicker to find out where Jack is. As ever, you can of course just shift click on the map and then it'll put a marker down. Me and Jack are going to meet just above Chernerus, but I think in an overlay I'll show you the route I take to 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 loot up from Kamenka, because obviously it's about 4,000 meters across there, and I kind of go in a loop, but I'll show you that in an overlay if I remember to put it in. Got a couple of other little things I need to tell you about this mod, uh, and the videos on it, just uh, whilst I loot this supermarket. Um, basically, I'm going to try and make from you know the next couple of episodes like the very beginning episodes of day z uh, so sort of one to five if you've watched all the way through this series where there were bigger chunks of looting and general game probably not as much looting as this i'm just explaining this is why i'm showing you this because some people wanted to see me loot so this is all the looting you're gonna get every 30 episodes you'll see a chunk of looting so hopefully that'll that will satisfy you but it's very important you rate this video 
tell me whether or not you prefer the first 15 minutes of this video or sort of the, the bigger chunks of gameplay that you're seeing now. So it's important you tell me that because obviously I can't tell either way and it will shape how the future videos are actually made on this. Now I don't know how much action Jack and I are going to get into when we actually meet up but I'm probably going to limit these Daisy episodes to between sort of around 30 minutes or so because I want to start putting them up in original quality so that actually you know that they're done at a higher bit rate on YouTube so the overall video quality should be better but obviously that means a bigger file size so I'm going to I'm going to limit it to that but make them more frequent so the next video of Daisy after this I'm going to try and get up for Tuesday and I think it should actually be up for Tuesday because I've already sorted what the music that I want to use in that um, the licensing of it so hopefully it should be up by then but I'm going to uh, head across into the woods now obviously there'll be a lot of running I'm going to check out a couple of hunting huts and stuff and I'll put all that on a map unless I happen to run into somebody and then you'll see the footage of me holding them up or whatever with my bright yellow taser should we head down into China? yeah oh you got you're a new guy you're a black guy as well no wonder I can see you I'm not a black guy, it's just uh, the zombie <laughs> face. <laughs> You've relapsed, dude. The, z the zombie face in this uh, mod is different to the normal zombie face. Do you want a browning? You got one in your bag? No, I've got a taser, but you take the browning. <clears throat> well, that, that's yours. You, you keep that. We'll get one in. Well, now. I just want to see what this taser does. You want to test it on me? To be honest. Oh, we're just going to shoot you in the butt, dude, and be like, oops, accident. <laughs> Did you get a mag then? Yeah, you did. Hey, back. Okay, you've got the mag. Oh, the brown is the pistol. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. It's HP, dude. H Not quite OP, but I'm figuring it's still pretty good. And I've got some rounds, which are 6.8 SD tracer rounds. Yeah, they, they're they like bright red or bright green, so you can see where you're shooting in the dark. They look like Stanag ones. They're pretty right. cool, man. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Let me, let me, I don't have a, an epi thing, so. Dude, it's okay, man. This is for science. Okay. I'll just shoot in the butt. Sit, 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 sit still. Here we go. <laughs> How's it look? Does it look good? Oh! Oh! Down. Down. <laughs> what should we get sniped out there? You can drag that. me around as well. If you wanted to, you could pick me up and put me in a car and drive away with me. And then, you know. I'm not, <laughs> yeah. saying, I'm not saying that you would I do that, but, mate, you know, if you wanted to, you could. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, the potential with that if they put the lady bandits in. <laughs> how it would get abused. <laughs> From the, you should see the thumbnail for this. Man, you've actually face planted, like, properly as well. <laughs> uh, it's not a face how plant. How okay? I just like the taste of dirt. It didn't do any damage, it just sort of like. I mean, I can't walk straight now. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> I think you've done some permanent damage there. <laughs> oh my god! Something That's great. Something happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh god, that's the funniest thing. I really want to date somebody now. You broke me. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> my screen's at like a 45 degree angle. I can, angle. I can <laughs> see. Oh my god. <laughs> 